Hey YouTube and welcome to my third attempt at the Eiffel Sun Speedboat Race. The Eiffel Sun Speedboat Race is a, another Banshee race, this time 200% scaled Banshee, so 8 times the volume, which means we are pretty much flow limited on this uh, Banshee. And yeah, the goal initially I had was to get below uh, 30 minutes, then I took a hit at the 20 minute mark. But I just couldn't get 20 minutes to be looking good. It's just flow limited too much for that. So this is a 24 minute Banshee and we can look through the settings. Um, two parameters, three solid top and bottom layers. Um, as requested, we are doing 0.025 millimeter layer height also as requested. 10% infill. I went back to rectilinear infill just because um, I had a lot of issues with uh, the solid layers, not the top layers not looking good and I played a lot with the infill. Costs me one or two minutes here. Um, I even go for monotonic infill on the top because it just looks better. Um, I went back to zero degree infill angle and angled the speed, uh, the Banshee 45 degrees instead, which um, is not ideal in terms of acceleration on the y axis, but just created better results in terms of cooling and again uh, how the top layers look. Um, yeah, for the speeds, you can see here we're going with 55,000. Millimeters per second square acceleration, so 5.5 g, round about 1,000 millimeters per second uh, travel speed. Oh, travel speed, sorry, 800 millimeters per second actually, and set I limited to 60 millimeters per second. Um, I was able to go higher before, but I, yeah, it didn't look too good at some point. Um, we're going pretty fast with the outer parameters. Um, and the, the top and solid in, uh, layers I go rather slow and infill bridge, internal bridge is really slow. Uh, actually, um, the acceleration on the infill bridges I uh, on the inner bridges I reduced as well because otherwise the first layer of the top solid layers uh, is going uh, where the top solid layers are sitting on will be bad and then there will be holes inside. First layer speed is decent with 350 millimeters per second, I think, with uh, quite some accelerations. I used uh, the uh, Dima print fixer to glue it, like, it's a bit like glue stick. Uh, 0 0.5 millimeters, uh, 0 0.5 millimeters uh, width for everything, basically. Um, also running a 0 0.5 millimeter nozzle. Yeah, maybe also interesting. Machine limits I set to ex the acceleration to 40,000 millimeters per second square and square corner velocity or sometimes it's wrongly called uh, jerk is 85 millimeters per second. I'm also uh, actually running a filament sensor which tells me if I'm under extruding because I think when we're talking about 10% infill, the actually plus melted plastic should be inside. So I let the sensor active. Uh, which would trigger a pause if we under extrude. Um, filament, yeah, I'm going up to 290 degrees here. First layer 270 because otherwise it starts to not stick good anymore. And the maximum volumetric speed is um, 65 cubic millimeters per second. Um, 64, I'm sorry, 65 also worked. 66 already had issues uh, with my setup. Cooling, of course, is full blast for everything. I actually had a layer time goal of one second, and um, this has a reason um, because otherwise this duct here is not looking good. Um, uh, not duct, the, well, the thing where the fumes come out, I just forgot a word. I, you will excuse me. Uh, as you can see, we're going full flow for most of it. Also in the overhangs, we're having quite high flow, not full, but high. Uh, and um, yes, this is diagonally now, but the, the, those layers here and those are rather slow with 
25 uh, cubic millimeters per second only. And that was what allowed me to get decent quality again. Yeah, so let's go. And uh, I already printed on those settings and I didn't uh, record it, but I think it should work again. So let's go. While we watch the print starting, I am going through the printer and its modifications rather quickly. I'm running a Red Rig B Minion. It's a cantilever style bed slinger, so on paper not the best setup for really fast printing, but it's quite a sturdy build and um, compact, so it can be run really fast. Um, as the hot, uh, the print head, I'm running Ever 3 with Orbiter 2.0. I'm running a Sanyo 15 watt 4028 fan, which is quite popular these days. And as the hot end and the most important part here, I think I'm running the Rapido Ultra High Flow, but I'm running it with a CHT nozzle in the Ultra High Flow uh, modification. Uh, therefore, I used the adapter for a rapi uh, for um, the Ultra High Flow mode of the uh, Dragon Ultra High Flow, uh, which allowed me to use a THT nozzle. Um, because before I did that, I had cold core extrusions in my infill and then the infill doesn't stick inside and it's everything is really brittle and you don't get a good bench like that. I'm running three additional fans um, that are cooling from the outside. As you can see, the V minion is sitting in an enclosure, but the panels are removed. Nevertheless, the room temperature is almost 40 degrees in my printer room right now because there are a few printers running and it's hot outside. And yeah, uh, let's see where this ends in the next couple of days. I also removed the idlers and put in bearing stacks in this printer, but that's just because of the brutal square corner velocity and accelerations I'm running here. I'm running, I think, 85 millimeters per second square corner velocity and 55,000 millimeters per second acceleration, which is really hard at the limits. Um, to enable that, of course, uh, with uh, together with high uh, travel speeds like 800 millimeters per second, I uh, went to 48 volt for X and Y motors. Um, there, I'm running the FISEC um, steppers uh, drivers. I'm sorry, uh, FISEC uh, stepper drivers. I'm also running 48 millimeters, never 17 motors instead of the 40 millimeters on Y and Z. Although on Z it doesn't really matter. I built the printer really with care, so I don't need um, to use a Z uh, bed mesh. It's perfectly flat like that, and tolerances are like 0 0.03 uh, millimeters right now. I don't think it will stay for months like that, but it's good enough now, so I can uh, disable the Z mesh and have less Z uh, travel on my prints because Z accelerations and travel speeds are a bit slower than what I'm currently doing. Uh, uh, then the X and Y movement naturally, and that would cost time. I'm also using the Muffix to uh, on the bed. Um, usually I use um, ABS juice, which is simply ABS solved in uh, alcohol, but this time I just went the easy route because every time you do that, you have to clean rather furiously um, the, the build plate after that. And the last build plate I actually completely destroyed like that. And I don't want to kill another build plate. So those are the modifications and let's see the results of the Benji, I guess.
So as always, let's have a look at the results. Here you can see the Banshee from the front and you can see it has a few signs of a fast Banshee, very slight smoothing and a slight case of yeah, meltiness, not really, but it's as always, when you go really fast on print, it starts losing contrast. Although you've, I've got to say that the model itself is just at 200% scale, not as sharp in its contours. Um, the overhangs look quite good, I think. <laughs> Maybe uh, on the top roof, you can see it's slightly overcooled in this area. Um, bridges are looking fine, smokestack is okay. The anchor hole uh, seems fine to me. And the whole hull is, yeah, there's not much to complain, I think. Then looking uh, from the back, uh, we can see that, yeah, I think that's the worst perspective for this specific Banshee. Um, I still think it looks quite good. Um, yes, we can see everything is there. Smoothing is not really too much, uh, considering that the extreme accelerations, in my opinion, quite good. But I also went down with input shaper uh, to Z, uh, ZV only, because I wanted to not get a lot of smoothing. Uh, then looking inside the cabin, I, we can see, yeah, we can see a bit of the top layers here already. The smokestack is quite nice, I think. And this, of course, is due to the one second um, layer time target as well, um, which all hits at the smokestack only in that area, actually. Um, everything else is more than a second by nature. Um, then we've got the wheel and all that kind of stuff. And you can see at the wheel that the smoothing is really not a lot here. And the door itself, you can see it's quite good. Um, layer stacking is still nice. And from the top, that was a lot of work for me to get the top layers uh, as close as they are now. Um, that was the main issue with the really fast benches and I sacrificed, I think, three or four minutes to get that layer looking like that. Um, because, yeah, the in, the, infill bridge, uh, the inner bridges had to be slow, uh, slowed down in acceleration and the overall volume flow reduced quite a lot. Um, as I said before, I used a filament sensor, so I know that this Banshee is not under extruded. Uh, at all. I also used uh, that pink, uh, light green, <laughs> pink green, yes, yeah. uh, not pink, light green um, filament, which shows issues quite well. If I had chosen a black filament, it would be less visible, I think, but I thought that's fairer like that. So overall, I think I'm happy with the 24 minute Benji like that. And the 20 minute one or sub 20 minute one, 19 minute 30 didn't look as good as that one, so I decided to go with that. And yeah, let's have a good competition.